Bankers hours, buddy. I think sleep's overrated anyway. Stick around tomorrow morning and perhaps we can make better use of the time. <laughs> Cover for me, partner. I might be on special assignment. Newlyweds, yeah, you'll come down to Earth soon enough. As soon as new parents do. <laughs> How's Nina? Great. I think she may take a permanent residency in the hospital. She loves all the attention. Hey, Frisco Jr. doing okay? It couldn't be better. I, all he does is eat and sleep. Like his namesake. Oh, yeah, well, listen, the uh, senior happens to have the afternoon free. You busy? What did you have in mind? A uh, little munching, a little sleeping. <laughs> Some hot day you are. Just don't tell my wife, okay? I'd hate for her to get the wrong idea. Well, she'll probably be out with a man herself. Oh, well, in that case, we better be careful and go to a quiet place where she won't find us. How's it sound? Oh, I'd love to. I'll pick you up about... I feel that uh, I have to work. I don't know what my schedule is at Dukes. Oh, Dukes. Well, I'll come by work and twist your arm. What do you say? You lay a hand on me and I'll call the cops. <laughs> She's been hanging around your wife too long. She tells <laughs> stupid jokes now. Don't pour that on me. <laughs> well, today it's the big day. Thanks, sir. Ruby, no more big days for me, please. I can't handle it. Not yours, Anna's. We're meeting in the mayor's office. I don't know how I'm going to vote yet. I really hate to go up against Anna. You know, I can't wait for Nina and the baby to come home. Listen, enjoy your peace and quiet while you can, right? Are you kidding? I hate it. I want to wade right into being a father. I mean, so far I feel like a guest in my own family. When's she coming home with the baby? In a few days. If everything's okay. Yeah, I'm sure it will be. The name like Frisco, the kid will be as strong as a horse, huh? Yeah. Felice, you know, Nina and I really appreciate Felicia spending so much time at the hospital with her and little Frisco. She loves it, really. She's taking notes. And your wealth of encouragement. Uh, you expecting some of What do you mean? I know the uh, academy teaches you to keep your eyes peeled all the time, but this is ridiculous. I mean, you haven't looked at me once since we started patrol. I just keep thinking about that guy who split when he saw me the other day. Yeah, well, what about him? Why'd he run? What was he trying to hide? I don't know, maybe he just doesn't like cops. Maybe he thought we were going to catch him doing something he wasn't supposed to be doing. Listen, if you don't go off the deep end, just for your first week as a cop, look, every citizen of Port Charles isn't a suspect. Well, the ones who behave like that are to me. You know, it reminds me of uh, another rookie I know. This guy nearly drove himself nuts imagining crimes that weren't there. What happened to him? Well, he learned his lesson. He wound up with you as a partner. Pass it on. Jimmy Lee. Ah. Mind if I ask you what's eating you? Did I say something? Well, you told me we were supposed to act like we don't know each other. Yeah. Look, Frisco, down here on the docks, we don't. Is it something that I said? I got a job down here, and I want to keep it. And I'm trying to take it from you. Look, that's not it. I learned the hard way. Down here, it's not too smart to have cops as friends. Some of the dock workers take offense. Enough said? Look, man, there's no offense. By the way, this is uh, Sandy Stryker. Sandy, this is Frisco Jones. How you doing? All right. This is my partner, Vince Fuscati. Like Buzz Stryker? He's her dad. I didn't know I had a daughter. Join the club. Buzz is a friend of mine. He's a very well-liked man in Port Charles. You're lucky. Yeah. Dad does have a way of people, I guess, huh? How is he? Something wrong? Well, he had a bad day yesterday. We're gonna check up on him, see if he's better. See you later. Good morning. Good morning, all of you. Good morning. I believe you oh, know my, my, my new assistant, Miss Felicia Cummings. Jones. Mrs. Frisco Jones. Oh, how foolish of me. How could I forget? I've had over nothing else all morning. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hi, Felicia. You here to back up your boss's case? I have a feeling that I couldn't win no matter what the outcome. Oh, excuse me. Felicia, I don't want to put you in the middle of this fight. Why don't you run back to the office, finish up your work there, and take the rest of the day off? Oh, well, thank you. No, thank you. 
You are doing a great job. Thank you. I hate to go against my new boss, but I know that friendship is thicker than paychecks. Good luck. Thank you, Felicia. Goodbye. Goodbye, sweetheart. See you. Well, what did you think of the grand tour? It's got quite a place there, doesn't it? I must say, your boss definitely knows how to live, yeah. yeah. Well, I'm very lucky to have such a good boss. You know, he even gave me the afternoon off, but I didn't take him up on it. Why not? Well, honey, I've had so much time off already. I just thought maybe I should stay here and do some work. Did you forget about my little um, afternoon suggestion? Hmm? You have plenty of time for that later. But, honey, this would be special, right? We're going to go to the park, hang out. It's a beautiful day out. Come on. Well, it is tough to be cooped behind a desk on a lovely day like this. Well, so fly the I coop, can't... right? Big Duke gave you the day off. I can't, though. Yes, you can. All right, picture this, all right? <laughs> Beautiful sunny day, blankets spread out under a nice shady tree, bottle of cold wine, the main attraction, of course, me. <laughs> Felicia, what are you doing here? I thought Duke gave you the day off. Didn't he tell you not to come in today? Well, you see, he's been so nice to me, I thought that I'd just stick around and do some work for him. Oh, you don't want to make Duke mad by turning down his offer, do you? It isn't often he gives an employee some free time. Enjoy it while you can. Man has a point. Shall we carry on with our afternoon plans? Okay, sure. Absolutely. Go on, enjoy yourselves. Okay, let's mm. go to the park. So, what do you think? The fountain adds a nice touch, doesn't it? It's perfect. I had him build that this morning. How about this? Okay. Did you pack some goodies in here? Yes, I did. Oh, good. Oh, good. Good girl. Here is to many more afternoons just like this, okay? Mm -hmm. And to many more bosses like Duke. <laughs> well, I'll drink to that, but I won't like it. If it wasn't for Duke's generosity, we wouldn't be sitting here right now, sweetheart. Okay, score one for the Duke, all right? The game isn't over yet. Come on. Admit you were wrong to worry about me working there. Well, the jury is still out on Mr. Lavery. I'll let you know when the verdict's in, okay? You're too hard on people. Oh, I met someone new today. I met Buzz's daughter, Sandy Stryker. Buzz has a daughter? It's the same thing I said. From what I could gather, she's supposed to be a well-kept secret. Well, what's she like? I mean, I can imagine growing up in the shadow of Mr. Perfect would be tough for just about any girl. Yeah. It'd be tough for any boy, too. How I pity my son. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> Mr. Also Perfect, what's she like? Well, she seemed pretty nice. She seemed to be somewhat of a tomboy from what I could gather. Pretty? Yeah. You know, the type that doesn't really have to try. Oh, yeah, I know the type. Seemed like her and Jimmy Lee were pretty worried about Buzz, though. He had, had a turn for the worse yesterday. Just hope it wasn't too bad. Next time I stop at the hospital, I'll stop and see him when I see Nina. Well, don't wait too long. Vince tells me they're on their way home in a couple of days. <laughs> he must be so excited. Oh, yeah. He wants to start playing Daddy real soon. You really like him, don't you? Yeah. yeah he's a good guy. He's been a big help to me, too. He's given me a lot of tips out on the beat. Sometimes I think you'd rather be on duty with him than with me. Well, sometimes you're wrong. Like now? Definitely now. Come here. The last thing that I want to talk about right now is work, okay? What's the first? Out on your mind, don't you? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. This is very good. 
on your back, interlace your fingers. Turn around. Remember me? Should I? You ran away from me at the docks the other day. So? So why'd you run? You must want to know pretty bad. What were you doing at the waterfront? Still a free country, man. Could take a walk, can't it? You were running. There's a law against jogging on the docks. What are you afraid of? Trigger happy cops. Look, you were going to take me in, or you just like hassling innocent citizens? Innocent citizens don't run when they see me. This one does. Which brings us back to our original point here. Why did you run? I always split when the heat shows. The thing about cops is most of them carry guns. I'm not a big fan of being shot, especially for nothing. What could you be shot for? Look, either take me in or take a hike. If I'm gonna trade snappy one-liners, I can do it with my pals. Not some cop trying to make his quota. What are you doing? Just memorizing your ugly face. I don't want to forget it. I'm sure we'll see each other again. Get the hell out of here. Where were we, honey? Why did you do that? I wanted to check that guy out. I didn't like his looks. But you're off duty. What difference does that make? Don't you ever intend to take off your badge? Yes, but it's never going to be more than an arm's length away from me. Does that include your gun? I never saw you carrying your hidden gun before. I didn't think it was something you'd want to know about. Are you going to do this all the time? When I'm on duty, you see the gun. When I'm not, I hide it. And you didn't think I cared to know about that? Sweetheart, I didn't want to upset you. Well, what do you think you just did? Now, we've talked about this, remember? What a cop's life is? I'm on duty 24 hours a day, right? I know. I just have to get used to it, that's all. I will, I'll be strong. Hey, come here. I know you will, okay? I know that. Okay? I know it's your life. And I know you're a cop. And I'll get used to it. <laughs> 